Chef Dewey here. I'm going to show you how to cook chicken and dumplings from the UC Marketplace meal kit. All right, you get one pint of the chicken and dumpling gravy mixture. It's got peas, parsnips, celery root, onions, carrots, all that good stuff. It's nice and creamy. In this little box, we'll have our chicken packet, egg, milk, and butter packet, and then the flour packet for the batter. What you want to do first is take your gravy mixture and warm it up to a nice little simmer over medium heat. Start cooking. While that's heating up, we'll take our flour and milk mixture, mix it together in a bowl. Now it's just flour, a little bit of salt, and baking powder. We get a nice little rise. the contents right in there and now I like to take a little bit of fork not a little bit of fork a whole fork and mix that batter up it's gonna be a little bit wet a little bit sticky but that's all right just mix it till it's all incorporated don't need to work it too much Set that off to the side, put a little bit of cover on it while the gravy warms up. And once your soup, make sure your gravy is up to a nice little simmer. Turn it down a little bit, make sure it stays at a steady simmer. You don't want to roll it too hard. We'll add our chicken packet. Chicken a nice little stir. It'll warm up nice and quick. And then we will add our dumpling batter. You should be able to get five nice dumplings out of here. It will be sticky. So I like to use my finger to get it off. You can eyeball it. If you want one big dumpling, you can do one big dumpling. You want three dumplings, go right on ahead. Or a whole bunch of itty bitty tiny ones. All right, just form it into a loose ball. And then you want to go around the outsides of the pot as you stick them in there. All right, make sure there's a little bit of separation between those dumplings. Turn it down to a little bit lower. Cover for three minutes. Okay, folks, it's been three minutes. You'll notice that the dumplings have really poofed up, filled up that pot, and you want to give these just a little bit of a flip. Or give them a flip, not a little bit. <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying a little. So that underside can cook. And then another two minutes. All right, folks, it's been a couple minutes. Dumplings are nice and poofy. They should be cooked all the way through. And so now it's just ready to eat. Pour it into your favorite bowl. We got a nice hot party meal for one person. Or half a person, depending on who you are. So I should warm you up this winter. Enjoy! All right, folks, 
I hope you enjoy your meal. That's all I have for you today. Stay tuned for more.